Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Lil Train from Mariana Maravilla. How are you, Lil Train? Hey, what's going on, homie? All right, Dustin? Yeah, thank you so much for joining the show, man. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, I definitely would love to take it all the way back. Um, so where exactly did you grow up? Right there off of uh, Ford and 3rd Street in East LA. Okay. By the, 7, by the 710 freeway, the interchange. What okay. they call the East LA interchange. Okay. And what years are we talking when you were, you know, a kid, you know, teenager, young young kid? Wow, fuck. I'm ready. I just turned 40. Oh, so January, you're my age. So yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in the four. I'm in the okay. forty bracket now. Welcome, welcome to the you know? club. Yeah, I'm. A, yeah, I'm an official. <laughs> I guess I like to say I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I know all the music we grew up to is now on the fucking old school channel. I'm like, damn, really? <laughs> I know, for real, right? But I mean, you catch yourself saying it's still the best. Yeah, you know? oh, it is. Nothing beats '90s music, in my opinion. Right. Yeah, well, but, the R&B R &B and oh, everything else. Huh? The hip hop, oh, everything, man, everything, dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, real, shit. Let's real. uh, let's go back to to L.A. East L.A. specifically in the '80s and '90s. I mean, every, yeah. everyone who grew up in this area knows. Um, it was fucking cracking. <laughs> it was hell active. It yeah. was hell of active, man. Talk to me about what your experience was like growing up around there. Uh, I can remember as a as a little model, a little kid, man, back in the '80s. I, I mean, you couldn't stop seeing the ghetto bird at nighttime. It felt like it was right over on top of your house, you know. Yeah. You see the light, and I literally think like the light was in my room and shit. Like, what the hell? Like, you no know, thought they were coming for me, <laughs> even though I wasn't doing nothing at that time. But still, it was so damn close. It was crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, M murders but, was at an all time high. Crack was. Oh uh, yeah, murders. That I've seen, man. Yeah, it's not even. It's not even funny. I, I, yeah, I've seen a lot, even as a little kid, you know? Yeah. Might not have realized realized everything that was going on, like, to, like, to fucking understand exactly, like, what was really happening, but, like, damn, yeah, there was a lot of shit going on. A lot of shit. Yeah, man. Well, shit, let's, let's rewind um, even further than that and, and take me back or tell me what you remember to the best of your knowledge about the history of Maravilla. Oh, wow, wow. It dates back. It dates back to the thirties, thirties and forties. It's it's not the oldest, but it's it's there. It's it's one of the oldest, you know. And um, wow, it started like I said in the thirties, and then thirties and forties. And um, damn, the way they, the reason it started, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of different uh, opinions or people say what why how it started. But from the best that I've always heard from my older homies and just even like people that say they know like just like factuals, like they wrote in books. That it happened. That it came from, um, I guess, the homies. Well, not the homies. The Mex Mexicanos, Mexicans. They were coming from 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 Mexico. Came down to Southern California, and they wanted to like, well, they wanted to look for for housing, you know, to live and live and work actually. And the well, guess what? From what I heard is that the Jews didn't want them on the West Side, so they say, and so they told them go to East LA. And wow, well, you know what? You can get land for cheap for like one cent for an acre, oh, something shit. like that. Okay. So that's how. So then, so then the people, they said, wow. They said, damn. You know, they said, que maravilla. Like how marvelous, because like damn, how so cheap. You know, all this land for a penny. You know, so that's where maravilla came from. They were like, que maravilla. Like how marvelous, how wonderful. You know. Oh, okay. So so it never came. It was nothing to do with gangs. The, the actual name. It came. It just came from like them being. They really got they really got played low key because they didn't want them with them over there, but still they got their land. But like I said, they don't. They, but to them it was like the best, you know, for fuck a penny. Yeah. We took we we beat some penny, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love history like that, man. Talk to me about what you know about uh, the reason why they they're or uh, correct or help me understand why uh, uh -huh. they're not under the Sorenio, um card umbrella yeah well i mean it's kind of it's a little it's a it's um the sudenio the sudenio card started in the 70s you know they haven't started in the late 50s early 60s but this um sudenio card started in the 70s you know and um what happened was back in i think about 90 i think it was 92 
there was somebody, he was a somebody named Chico from VNE. He came out and he said that, you know, everybody's going to have to pay taxes. They had a big old meeting. Everybody was going to have to pay taxes, you know, for every neighborhood you were going to have to pay, you know, pay rent. How much wasn't exactly decided yet, but you were going to have to pay, you know, so much. You're going to have to kick down to the, to the, to the homies, right? Mm-hmm. And from what I know, because I hadn't gotten to the hood yet, my home, my homies that were there were like, no, nah, this ain't happening. You know, we ain't doing it. So then they sent a couple of their people to Belvedere Park, the Swagging Model Via, and, you know, basically they got sent packing, you know, in a bad way, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's when the green light came on after that. And it was on, you know, we were on, it was on site for both ways. You know, if we see them, it was on, and if they see us, it was on, you know? Yeah, ex- and so, explain to people what green light means. And basically, the green light is it's, it's, it's like it's basically kill on sight. If you're in the streets, it's, it's shoot on sight, stab on sight, whatever you got, fight on sight. And in jail, in county jail, it's fucking stab, beat down, whatever you got in your hand on sight, you know? There's no your sand butts, you know? You say Malavia back then, it's just on, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and it's just, there's no there's no way of going around it, you know? And, and it's straight up, and that, that's what was going down from like about 92 to 2005. It was uh, okay. it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty gruesome. And and how does how did it work when you know the uh, the MA runs pretty much California prisons? How does it work when a Mata Via yeah. get, gets in? I mean, is he off top? Just oh. you know, it, it's on. Yeah. yeah. Well, in, in prison, it doesn't carry. In prison, that's in prison. It stops. It's just like LA County jail thing. Oh really? Okay. Well, yeah, it's just an LA County jail thing. I mean, there you go, like Riverside County, San Bernardino. They'll play that too, to a certain point, you know. But if it's basically now, it's a county jail. It's a county jail thing. Once you get to the prison, they don't play. They don't play that shit. You know, you go straight up. You go with everybody. So like, we're not. Even though we're not considered, we're not Sudanios. Like we don't. We don't have a 13. We don't write 13 on the wall. We still program. We still have salaries with them. We still run with them. If if a, if a Sudanio is gonna get fucking, if it's gonna go down with the blacks or the whites or. The Asians or whatever, we're gonna be there the same way. Yeah, it's all you know? about numbers, pretty much. We can't all be yeah, divided. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's all, it's all, it's all numbers. They're going up with the north. We're, we're there, you know. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna, li- I'm not gonna shoot going and lie. There's certain individuals from Alavia that have been down long time, years, and they pay both sides. They'll, they'll claim their student though, because they've been in that system so long. They considered all of them their brothers, you know. They're like some of them ain't never gonna make it back to the streets, so. If you got a dude that you know you've been fucking fucking with for years or whatever, you know you're gonna fall into that into that category. And some of them do that, and and they actually do claim they claim sue, you know. So I can't say that none of us do, but for the majority, it's only a handful of guys that like are doing major time that never gonna get out. That they start politicking and, and they they actually become uh, surrenders, you know. Okay. But for, for 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 the most part, we don't you know we don't fly a 13. There's not you're not gonna see 13 on the wall. You're not gonna see somebody come and collect money from us. That's just, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. Okay. You know? Are there any other um, uh, big gangs out there that aren't under the Sudanio umbrella, or are you guys pretty much? Well, like I, that? I wouldn't want, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say big gangs, but there's a couple of gangs that like the Wow and Opal, and they, they have the green. For far as I know, that they have the Wow for sure has the green light for like supposedly for life, because I guess what the rumor was that they killed, they killed somebody, and. Um, Supposedly they're never gonna get it taken off. So they 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 go they go protected custody even in prison. You know, there's uh, no ifs and buts. Yeah, there and they're not a big they're not a big neighborhood. You know, but they're uh, they are still they're still out, they're still out there. You know. Yeah. You can't get got by one of them if you know. <laughs> Damn, dude. So yeah, so there's like maybe a couple, but that's about it. You know, they don't really play that green light shit no more on volleyballs, from what I know. You know, I've I've been out for the last two years. And from I remember, after doing my stretch, you know, you didn't really hear about neighborhoods getting green lights. You know, it, it does happen, but it wasn't like in the 90s. Like, damn, they fucking, your neighborhood could be have the green light. Like, you could be cool in the county one minute, just chilling. Next thing you know, you're getting beat up because your neighborhood has a green light, you know, damn, because your uh, homie's fucked up out there. Somebody made a call. Yeah, and next thing you know, you're getting, you're, 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 you're getting a blue. That's why I give, I give it to a certain, certain, certain body of certain dudes that I know that did time with. That I know that they, 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 they were on the main line. They, they toughed it out with the green, the green light, you know. You know. Yeah. I got, I got to give them a lot of props, you know, because I know what they went through. You know, they, they fucking, there, there were some real ones. Damn, dog. So, what was your longest stretch? I did uh, almost 14 years. Ooh. Did about 13 years in uh, like six months. 
maybe about 13, six months, something like that. Okay. What was the conviction? Yeah, was, what were you charged with? Oh, it was for a, uh, attempted murder, for mm. a little shooting, you know. Damn. Nobody died or nothing. I mean, maybe it would have been better if they died because then I wouldn't have got told on. But <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. there it is. Another story nah, of, of yeah, somebody yeah. being snitched on. Oh, yeah. That's that's the thing to do. But, you know what's funny, though, is but I I only got I got snitched on by the people and the and my crimey, so I can't even, you know what I mean? My crimey, so it's like it was just all bad, you know? God, it's a lesson. It's a, it's a lesson. It's a lesson to be learned, you know. Fuck! How did that feel when it was he from your hood? Um, no, that was a funny thing. So he see, wasn't okay. When when I got when when I took this youngster one of my wing, he was from actually from a little neighborhood in Paramount, but he was living on my block. When I got out, I had just did like a little a sixteen months. When I got out, you know, the green light was already going down. It was already around two thousand four. It was like a yellow light. It was like you know, it wasn't it wasn't all hard. There wasn't fools coming and looking for us all day or waiting outside the county jail so i had this youngster living on my block so i had got out and he, he was, had heard about me so he wanted to connect so i took him under the wing even though he was from another neighborhood he was like my little dog right there you know and, and um just shit hit the fan and he wasn't ready for it. he had never been busted he wasn't ready and he, and he basically ate shit you know but it happens Damn. And, and it, shit, it shit happens and fucking um talk to me about your first time stepping into prison what is it like you know who do you do you have to oh, automatically connect with you know your people are they checking oh, your paperwork yeah. the, the first time when i when i had that 60 months it's like kind of like i was ready to affirm because my homeboys had laced me up i being with my homies in the county a lot of my og homies i had got so much game and, and from them they had taught me so much so i already knew what basically to expect like i could already picture the prison when i got there like i already like had it like they had already told me so many damn stories mm. of different joints you know so I was I was pretty much I wasn't nervous I was just a little I had that energy like was ready for anything but I wasn't like worried or scared I was just more like I had already been through so much in the county and in the street so this was like it was actually like it was peaceful you know I knew there was no green light in the state so it was just like it was all good for me you know yeah. now I've, I've had conflicting um, answers on this and I would love to know what you think I had someone who said that county jail was more dangerous than prison and then i had someone who went to prison and said nah that, that dude is crazy there's no nah, that's not the case what, what what are your opinions on on jail versus prison when you're an active gang member? i mean um it could go both ways it depends where you go in the county who you're with in the county are the sheriffs being dirty in the county there's a lot of social foods they have a cupcake in the county you know they get a porter job and they're wearing the greens they're trusty and they're loving it, you know? And then you got these dudes that are like, uh, me going to the gang mod, the mod or the Mata Via module, or uh, uh, it could be high tar, could be, it could be, or it could be a dorm that's just cracking, you know? Or it could be even 2,000 floor, it's just on site, and you know? They could just say like, you could have two blacks in there, or three blacks, and you could be outnumbered, and, and, and it's cracking with another blacks on the other side, you gotta go at it. These fucking blacks are gonna fuck you up. They're already big, I'm not gonna lie, we all know that, black blacks, are, they have, <laughs> They have not not to be like stereotyped. They have, they no, have great genetics. Yeah. They have great genetics. So you, you, you blow up, you know, and, and so it's like, damn, you're gonna get mine and you could die, you know. Yeah. If you die, you you could, it could be the end of your life just like that. You could be cool with that with that brother too. You guys could be just chilling, chopping up. You could be giving him a three way. He could be, you know what I mean. And next thing you know, you got no choice, you know. And then and bam, it's fucking, you know, it's on. Damn, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it is it's, it's messed up in the current. So I mean, I could see it both ways because. I mean, I went to every practically at least 12 prisons in state and level four, level three. So I've seen so, and in the county, I've been to just about every place in the county. So it, it's it goes both ways. Like I said, it could be deadly. It could be deadly too, but just because you could have a seizure. I had a homie. They, he was getting released that day. Mm -hmm. Had a seizure in, in his cell. The cop was being a dick. Didn't fucking uh, get him medical attention, and he died in his cell. He banged oh, his head man. on the fucking floor, and he fuck? died. He was getting released that same day. He wasn't even supposed to go back to the county. He was just supposed to get released from the court, but they sent him back to the county jail. Even though he had the green wristband, he had a seizure. And got, you know, I, I've had another one of my homies. He didn't pay that shit. He, he wanted to go to the main line, even though he knew he was going to get it. He said, fuck it. That was just how he felt, right? He had a plate in his head from being shot. He fucking got into a fight, went back to sleep, and never woke up. You know, it's just so there's just so many, there's just so many, so many uh, different things, you know. Mm. I've seen many homies. I've been with homies that have caught life in the county for jumping somebody and the guy died or anything. You know, yeah. it just it shit happens. I've seen so many. I've been with so many in-house in-house murders cases. You know, 
It's just uh, the county's brutal. There was a homie, he was from Rancho San Pedro. Um, he's, a, he's a life for now. He got life when he barely got busted. He was in the in the holding tank, and I don't know what happened, but it went on with the paisa, and him and some homie jumped the paisa and they killed the paisa. He caught he killed the he, he caught the case on the first day in IRC, you know. So he caught his fucking he he ended up getting ten years for his actual case and he got a life sentence for the fucking for the in-house, you know? It just it, 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 it just it just it's just crazy. Like the R, if you could survive if you could survive our due time in LA County, you can do time in any county. I don't care what they say about any prison in a jail in like Mississippi or I know they're holler racing is fucked up, but if you could survive the LA County jail back in the day, now it's a lot better, like because of, of all the things that's been got paid out and everything got put on blast. But before, back in the 90s, 80s, 70s, 2000s, ooh, early 2000s, it was fucking, it was vicious, you know? Damn, you can, dude. yeah, you can survive those. You, 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 you can do, you can do anything, you know? Yeah. So. How much, um, how much of the contraband and drugs and and cell phones and whatever weapons and things like that that are getting into prisons uh -huh. are getting yeah. in through uh, correctional officers? Um, I would want to say at least half. Yeah. Because it's it or more, maybe half to seventy five. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, I'm gonna go seventy five to be honest. Mm. Free staff, library librarian, free staff. And I'm and I'm telling you all this stuff and it's not even they people are gonna hate and say I'm exposing it. This has no, been known. They, they, come come on. on, everybody knows. I'm not saying anything that ain't been known, you know. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, they're gonna be like, Oh, I'll put better than that, go back to prison because hey, I'm not going back to prison. Believe that because <laughs> I'm not because I'm not i I'm not stupid after yeah. doing fourteen years. Fuck, I'm not right? gonna go back regardless, regardless you know what I mean? You know, fuck it, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I would say 75 to 80, because you got the, the laundry lady, you got the cooks, you got the fucking, you know, you got everybody, you know, I, I, I got a homie, dog, I, just, I tell him, look, man, you wanted me to get him this one, to that. I go, look, you, you've been down 11 years, you got fucking two more years, as long as I'm out here, you're going to get 50 bucks every week for me, fucking, don't do nothing stupid, and so I just catch him out right there, and he gets the I go, that's all you need, bro, you don't need nothing else, don't, you don't want to do, make this move, you don't need none of that shit, you know. Just like my brother did for me when I was about to, I was down to my last two years. Mm -hmm. That fool would cash me out every month for my two twenty, but he wouldn't get me nothing that was I was not supposed to have. He'd be like, "Nah, you're coming home already, you know. I don't want you to try to do this move. You're not doing this move. You're not making this money. There's no need for all that, you know." And that's the way I do it. That's my boy. I was like, "Look, man, you're gonna get that money every week, and that's cool. And if you don't get it that week, you'll get doubled up the next. Don't even trip, but yeah, don't worry about having to make moves to have money to get this because you don't need all that. You're too close to the house already." Yeah, that's a true friend, man. That's a true friend right there. Um, I, I've heard people say that when you go to prison, that and you're involved, you know, with with uh, gangs, that you're it's you almost have to be somewhat racist. You know what I mean? Like if you're oh. black versus Latino, Latino versus black, like it, it's like yeah. you, you may like them yeah. outside, yeah. but fuck, when you get in, it's like all right, uh -huh. it's, it's on. Yeah, that those 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 things are like they go both ways. Like it's a yeah, it's crazy like that. Yeah, like, um, fuck, yeah, it's, um, because, you know, a lot of Mexicans and Blacks grew up with each other, like, in the South Side, you want to yeah. see Compton, Paramount, South Side. Then you got people like me in East LA, they, it was a culture shock. I never knew no Blacks until I got to, to, to jail and to prison, you know? Yeah. I didn't know about, like, the difference between, I knew Crip and Blood, what a Crip and Blood was, but I didn't know about fucking Hoover. I didn't know about the dudes from up north, you know, all these, the, the Kum, uh, Kumis and all. I didn't know none of these things, you know? And, I, and that was all culture shock, you know, like, you know, and it's crazy because, like you said, like these dudes grew up together, like dudes are from Compton, they're Mexican and the black, and then now they're like they're straight enemies. They can't, you know, they can't even fucking, they could barely say what's up, you know, let alone fucking dap each other up or something, you know. It, it, was, it, it, was a, it was really tension. Now it's a lot different. Now I've seen a lot different with the tension with the, between the blacks and the Mexicans, and even the northerners and the, and the Mexicans. It's, it's a lot more like, you you actually see, a Mexican and a, and a black hug hug each other like a like a, not like a straight embrace hug. Yeah. But you know the kind of hug. Yeah. Would you say what's up, homie? Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You could never do that before. One time the homie did it and everybody just looked at him like, "Oh, what the fuck are you doing?" You know, like you, you just don't you, you don't do those. Now it's like, it's changed a lot. You see that now, you know. I remember the first time I fucking was on the level four actually. Where I had a radio, my homie let me the radio, and it was like my birthday, and we had Pruno and fucking uh, my birthday's actually on New Year's, you know, January first, so I was up all night, 
speaking and I had like a Tupac tape and, and you know how Tupac goes so yeah. I was fucking I was all fucked up and I fucking I was repeating the song and I, I said the n-word oh, because shit. of the song you know yeah. because of the song and that's a level four and then when the, the homie from East Coast uh Ice Man he and he knew how he knows how I am he knows I'm the boy he's like hey fool just just don't do that again you know please because you know my homie sees it I go hey my bad I didn't even know I fucking said that's how I fucking because I know you were fucked that up Bruno he goes, got you. He goes he goes, I thought you were going to start shouting out my hood. You were so fucked <laughs> I was like, nah, man, yeah. I go, yeah, but see, like that. But then, then you go down to a level two or level three, and you see homie saying that word. So I was just like, whoa, I was at the, I went down to a level three after being in level four for like six, seven years. And I'm at the channel, and there's two homies from Florence and a homie from Lenox. And then there's uh, the next the next table, there's, you know, the blacks. I don't know exactly what neighborhood they're from, but and and the homie saying and this saying that and they're the only fanatics and parents are going back saying the thing that we're like it's a thing to do and i'm like i'm just like ready to get like i'm thinking then we're gonna get, he's gonna get cracked right now or something you know uh -huh. and then i told him hey and i and i put him to the time we're walking back from channel and, go, hey, he goes, and he goes oh man he goes oh, he told me to train them with me with all that high power shit now like, i go no i'm not sure he goes, i don't even know he goes yeah you, 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 it's all good you can do that right here in level two i was like all right man because i didn't know that shit I go, <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm fucking looking out for myself. I'm already thinking I'm going back to level four because you're saying that word, you know? Um, because I'm, I'm, let me preface this question with when I was yeah. a kid, I was 10 years old. So don't laugh at me uh, because of this question uh, or, you know, but uh, colors, right? You know, the movie colors. Everybody knows colors. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. We got 20, 21st Street with Frog and... Yeah, yeah. Probably I, died. He died years yeah, ago. Yeah, he did. He was a good yeah, actor, too. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah I, he was. I can't lie. I wanted to be the black dude in the... In the um, that was part of the the, the Mexican gang. That's again. That's again. Oh yeah, the one that the one that. Fucked, Sylvester. Uh, the, yeah. The one that got Pac-Man. Yeah, drunk. yeah, man. man. Oh yeah, he was I, a shit. Man. I wanted to be that man. dude. So that leads to my next question. I'm. You know, I had to keep yeah. it real with you on that. But um, uh, that leads yeah. to my next question. Are, have there? Or do you know if there's ever been any black dudes from Maravilla? You know what? They'll try to say a lot of shit, but I don't even care. Like my my hood actually was one of the first ones to ever. We haven't had none now. Uh -huh. Or. In the 80s, but we had one from the six from the 60s. His name was Bote, rest in peace. He was half black and half Filipino, and his sister was Negra. She was well, obviously half black and half Filipino. And I think they had one more sister that I never met. But they were a family. They're the only black family from the barrio that they were uh, half black and half Filipino. They didn't have no Mexico. They spoke fluent Spanish just from living in the hood all the years. <laughs> yeah, and then they were half black, half Filipino. But you couldn't see no Filipino part. You just seen black. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And uh, his name was Buck, and I remember the first day I met him, I went up to the county jail to the tier. That's when we had to be nice, so I went up to the tier. And my neighborhood's always been one of the, mostly the biggest. So we fucking had, like, that whole tier was just all my neighbors, like, 26 cells, and it was just all my homies. So I'm getting to my cell, I'm getting, I'm walking the tier, and I see my homeboy Duke, and he's like, he's like, hey, pimp, he talk, he'd he, he, he be talking kind of funny, he'd be talking like that little pimp talk. He's, oh, like, okay. hey, he's like, hey, what's up, pimp? I'm like, what's cracking, homie? And he's like, He's like, hey, have you met the homie Bote? And I'm like, Bote, well, Bote means can in Spanish, right? I'm okay. like, nah, who's that? And you see a little, uh, a little, a little dark homie come up from the, to, to the front of the fucking uh, of the door, right? The bars. He's like, hey, oh man, they call me Bote. And, and fucking, I see he looks like, okay, the, he's dark, but he looks like George Jefferson, you know? Okay. The, you know, <laughs> yeah. he has a little ball, the hair, right? Ball part in, yeah. He has the cul de sac, the ball in the yeah. middle, and then the little. I swear to God, but he's dark, you know? He got, and I'm like, damn, what's up, homie? And I'm just like, at first, I'm like, what the fuck? And I knew the homie looked at me and started laughing because he knew I was going to be shocked as fuck, you know, like, what the hell? And that was the homie's butt, that's the homie's butt there. But we ended up shaving his head after he got him a razor and we shaved. So we couldn't have that looking like, like that, nah, you know? like, nah, talk. And, uh, <laughs> even though he's OG, you can't, you know? Yeah. But yeah, that, that. And, then, and, and yeah, so that, he's the only one from my hood. I can't say it from the other one. I've never, I seen one. Actually, he was half black and half, uh, I think, Mexican. His name was Downer from another model deal from Pomeroy. And, uh. And he was knocking fools out left. He's like, yeah, like I tell you, he had that good genetics yeah, on the other yeah. side. <laughs> and, 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 and he was, that's the only other one that I could think of to come to my head. You know, but it's, but uh, like I said, our homie's like, he's old. Oh, he's hello. He'd be like 80 right now if he was alive still. You know? That's crazy. But, uh, he'd be, he's, the only, he's the only one. And, it, and it's not from, they could say, oh, well, you're being racist because we don't get, it just was not. It just wasn't, wasn't they like, were, we weren't around, wasn't, yeah, that area. Exactly. Exactly. It wasn't about like, oh, no, just like, nah, you just the one around, you know? Yeah, yeah. At that, at that time, you know, like I said, they, they were they were like the only family, one of the only family. So they had got they had got this, him and the sisters, him and the sisters. So, yeah, so if that answers your question. So, yeah, we yeah. have had 
you know. Oh, okay, that's okay, cool. I mean, yeah. Well, shit, yeah. I want to ask you one more question, then we'll wrap it up, man. Yeah. Um, okay. for, well, first off, when, uh, how old were you when you uh, got jumped in or when you joined your gang? I was 15, 15, 95. 95, okay, so you're 15. If you could talk to, if you had to, if you could sit down for like two minutes and talk to a 15 year old you, what would wow. you tell him? Just knowing everything you know now, you know what I'm saying? 30 years later or whatever. Fuck, I, I would tell him fucking, don't you dare fucking go kick it with the homies. Don't you dare <laughs> fucking do any of that stupid shit that's gonna get you where you where, where I ended up being, you know? I'd be straight up homies, though, I don't mm -hmm. know. When I, when I got out of homies, you know, like, they knew better to be like, bringing anything, like anything that has to do with getting in trouble to my to my doorstep, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I, didn't, I, did, I did my time, you know? It's like, it was a way, it was, yeah, it was a waste. I'll be straight up. It was a waste. It was a waste of time. I was blessed because I was. I, my grandmother raised me. I was blessed. And my grandma was ninety three when I got out. She was still alive. She's ninety four now. You know, wow. I was blessed to have. I was. She. He lived to see me out. You know. That's. Wow, I was just that's like, oh, so you know, that would have killed me if I was. She wouldn't. She raised me, but she, I was blessed. You know, so God. Yeah. God gave me something. You know, He gave me something. So that's why, I, I'm. I'm gonna discharge. I think next week my my, my poor officer already put in a. Uh, Put in my discharge, you know. I've been out. It'll be two years, July 9th. He's he discharging me already. And I had a job. I got fucking a, a, not a new car, but it's a 2014. I got, I got a fine ass bitch. I got a fucking family. I just, we got a pad. We got, I got everything. That's I got money. what you I got, need, you know? homie. That's it right there, dog. And you have yeah, your freedom, got, which is the most important. Yeah, part. exactly. I got my freedom, and you can't take that. You can't, you can't take that. That's, you know, freedom is like everything. You ain't worth shit in there, you know. Yeah. There, there's nothing. Who wants to be asking their people for money? Who wants to be asking for packages? Who wants to be that shit? That shit is dead. You, you want to you want to have your own shit. You don't want to be waiting on waiting on somebody else when you know it's not it's not even right. You know we're men. We're not supposed to be. They're not. We're, we're supposed to provide, not the other way around. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, damn. You know, yeah. Man. Little train. It's it's been a pleasure, homie. I would love to have you on in the oh, near yeah. future, man. Yeah, for sure. That's you know, dope. talk about any, a, anything. You know. Yeah. And so thank I'll you so much. More. Go ahead. Also, I'll let you know about yeah. the, my neighborhood or anything. Yeah. If there's any questions you could think of, that you just, you know. Yeah, perfect, man. It's just man. like, you know, yeah, there's no, there's no problem. Like I said, we, just because we don't, we're not surrendered, I still have respect for all of them. I did a lot of time with, with them and, you know, I've been, I know a lot of them to this day. I keep in touch, you know, but like, I'm not afraid to talk about stuff. I'm not, my, my home, there's not going to be nobody from my hood to come and check me or tell me, you know. It's just, it sucks the way that is for other people. But it just—it's just a structured program. That's the way it is, you know. Yeah. I can't—I can't knock it, but it's just—it's not—it's just not, it's just not for, for my, my for my hood, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, anytime you want, you want to, we can, you know. Yeah, we we just hit and, the tip of the iceberg, man. So we I definitely yeah, we'll know, definitely get a little deeper next time, man. I'll make sure I stay in touch with you, and we'll do it again. Yeah, have definitely. A, yeah. Have, have a safe night, homeboy. Yeah, yeah. I'm marvelous, man. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thank you, man. Peace.